Hello everyone, and welcome back to Nick's Customs. Today, I've got a bigger custom project than just a truck, that being this road bridge. This bridge was first seen all the way back in Season 1 at the bottom of Gordon's Hill, and it has appeared in pretty much every season since, all the way until the end of the CGI era. I had plans to make this bridge and many others at one point a few years ago. I revisited those plans very recently for a Thomas and the Jet Engine remake. I filmed this scene on one side of the tunnel using this box, which was made for my original Henry's Tunnel as my tunnel entrance. However, when it came to filming the other side of the tunnel, I couldn't find it. I specifically remember saving this box just to film this scene, but after about 20 minutes of looking, I gave up. I decided that I would just build the entrance to the tunnel seen in the episode which is just this bridge with terrain and foliage placed around it. So I grabbed some cardboard from my stash, sat down at the desk, and in no time I was filming on a set with the new bridge. It was at that moment, when I was filming, that I realized that 12 hours had passed. Yeah, I kinda just got sucked into the project and made the whole thing in one day. Keep in mind I only detailed one side, and I had to wait for the paint to dry each time before applying more, but this was indeed a one-day project. First, I cut out the shape of the side of the bridge, and then cut out another. Next, I made the inside, or middle, that connects the two, and attached the three pieces together with masking tape. I added the other sides, and then just cut a long strip of cardboard and bent it, and put it on top for the road. The most tedious parts were definitely the supports, because there's four of them, and it just got so repetitive. I am glad I added them though, and I didn't just paint them on. After wrapping the whole thing in masking tape, I mixed white and tan paint for the trim and applied it on the model. Lastly, I added the brick details with a pen. Originally, I wasn't going to do this, but again, I'm glad I did. I didn't get as intricate with different shapes and colors like in the TV series though, and went for a more simplistic approach. And that's the road bridge. Or should I say, the Arch Stone Bridge? I'm pretty sure this wooden railway item is based off of this bridge. It's made from stone, has the same colors and trim, and has the same basic shape, only missing the supports. The only trouble with this toy is that it's a bit small, so you can only fit one track under the bridge. My custom has the opposite problem, as you can fit three tracks under it, but the bridge is a bit too big. Oh well, better safe than sorry. At least my engines can carry tall loads under it. I hope you all enjoyed this video, as it's the first longer form showcase video, and the first showcase on a structure that I've done in a while. This bridge was fun to make, aside from the detail, which is why from here on out, I will no longer be painting bridges and buildings like this. It's just a pain, and it's about time I fully embraced my decal skills. But that's a story for another time. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.